Yo, what's going on? So today I want to talk about Iron Man mode and old school RuneScape and how there are certain things that make it not a true Iron Man mode, meaning there are ways that people can and do use other accounts to benefit their Iron Man account. And now some of these things that I'm going to talk about of what some people might call cheating kind of cancel each other out in a way, which I'll explain in a bit what I mean by that. But I'm not here to propose solutions because, to be honest, I'm not even sure what could be done about this besides, like, making a whole separate single-player offline game. So I'm not going to propose solutions. If you guys want to in the comments, I would love to hear your ideas. But what I do want to do is bring to light some of the ways Iron Man mode isn't a true Iron Man mode and how other players in the game really can affect Iron Man. And I'm sure a lot of you will already know about a lot of the things that I'm going to be talking about, but I really want to get this out there. So in case you're not sure what Iron Man mode is, the basic idea behind it is that it's meant to be a single player version of RuneScape where you can't interact with other people. So for example, you can't trade, you can't use the Grand Exchange, you can't accept aid, you can't enter other people's houses, and you can't do pretty much anything that involves getting an advantage from another player. However, RuneScape is an MMORPG, which stands for Massively Multiplayer Online Role-Playing Game, and it seems strange to have a solo game mode in an MMORPG because the whole nature of this genre of gaming is based around player-to-player -player interaction. And don't get me wrong, I think the idea of Iron Man mode is a genius concept, and I love playing the game mode myself because I think it's a great way to fall in love with the game all over again, but because of the type of game RuneScape is, the concept of Iron Man mode is bound to have loopholes. So the first reason why Iron Man don't truly stand alone is because of the shops. And shops have a limited supply of items, and any player in the game can buy those items out. And it can get very frustrating as an Iron Man when you're trying to stock up on a certain item, and every single world has been bought out by other players, or the majority of the time, by bots. And the thing is, Iron Men rely on shops to stock up on certain items, whereas regular accounts can buy whatever they want at the GE, and to those regular accounts, buying from the shops is just another money-making method, not a necessity. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. I mean, of course the bots are bad, but regular players using the shops as a money-making method is perfectly fine. I mean, that's part of the game. Again, I'm not here to propose solutions, but people have suggested giving each Iron Man account their own stock shops. But the problem with that is that Iron Man can still drop trade items over to their mains, so people would just make a bunch of throwaway Iron Man and then swamp the RuneScape economy with pretty much an unlimited supply of these kinds of items. And one more issue with the shops is that Iron Man can't buy from overstocked shops. And this makes sense because otherwise people would sell a bunch of items from their main in the shops and then basically get whatever amount of items they wanted onto their Iron Man. But at the same time, some people have done this maliciously by selling high quantities of cheap items on every single world to a particular shop, and by doing that, they prevent any Iron Man from buying those items until the shop's quantity has gone down back to its default stock. But moving on to the second way Iron Men don't stand alone is because they can get PK'd in the wilderness. And if it was truly a single player game mode, then no other player would be able to attack them. And if that was the case, then there would be huge effects on the hardcore Iron Man community, and a lot more things would be realistically achievable for them. But this is what I was talking about of how two ways of not standing alone could potentially cancel each other out. So if Iron Man can get PK'd by another player, then why shouldn't they be allowed to use another player as a scout or bodyguard in the wilderness? Of course, this goes against the integrity and spirit of Iron Man mode, and just by showing this clip, I realize it does put my account at risk no matter how minor it is, but I want to prove a point. If Iron Man do stand alone, then why can they get PK'd? And actually, this is one of the things I really want to hear your thoughts on in the comments, because at least in my opinion, I think it's pretty controversial. So even though Iron Man can get PK'd, do you think it should be a bannable offense to use another account as a scout or bodyguard? Because again, while that does go against the spirit of Iron Man mode, so does getting PK'd by another player. But let's move on to the third topic of how Iron Man don't truly stand alone, which is somewhat related to PKing as well, and that is Bounty Hunter. And there are some really important items in the Bounty Hunter shop for Iron Man, most notably the Rune Pouch. I guarantee that no hardcore Iron Man has ever gotten the Rune Pouch just from PKing other players. Although Mysterious Emblems were added to the drop table of Wilderness Monsters while you're on a Wilderness Slayer task, and to Wilderness Bosses on the Bounty Hunter world. But I think the majority of Iron Man, and specifically hardcore Iron Man that have the pouch, have done it through methods that might be more frowned upon and against the integrity of Iron Man mode meaning paying people to let them kill them for emblems. And I mean, people have made whole videos about emblem farming and the issues surrounding that, 
but I want to keep this focused on how this affects Iron Man. And besides just the rune pouch, Iron Man use those emblems to buy other items as well, whether those items are for elking or things they want to stock up on, such as arrows or bolt racks. I'm not saying they're in the right or wrong for doing this, I'm just explaining what goes on and how Iron Man are able to use other players to their advantage in this game mode. Now we're going to move on to the fourth way Iron Man don't stand alone, which is by using other accounts for bossing. And usually when people think of this, they think of using the alt account as a tank at Bandos or to tank at KBD or something along those lines. But one other example is at the Giant Mole. So if an Iron Man doesn't have the Faldor Hard Diaries done, but their main does, then they can use their main account to track the mole for them and get faster kills that way on their Iron Man. It goes against the spirit of the game mode, and most worlds are full at Giant Mole, so if every Iron Man had their own instance, then there would be an insane amount of supplies coming into the game because of that same issue as earlier of how they can drop trade anything over to other accounts. And this is going to be a great way to transition into the fifth and final topic I want to go over today, which is griefing, also known as harassment. So if any other player does even 1 hit points of damage to a monster, then the Iron Man won't be able to pick up the drop. So if an Iron Man gets crashed at a boss, then they can't even try to out damage the other player to get the drop, they're just done for then, that's it, there's no getting the drop, and they have to hop to another world and then hope that no one crashes them again there. And it's the same deal with any monster, like when you're on a Slayer task and someone sets up a cannon next to your Iron Man. I mean, for a regular count, that's annoying, sure, but on an Iron Man, it's really painful when you see that Ranar seed on the ground and you can't pick it up just because their cannon did one hit point of damage to it. And there have been instances of streamers being harassed on their Iron Man accounts with this exact type of behavior, which just shows that Iron Man aren't truly alone in this world. And actually, there is one more small thing I want to bring up, which isn't really an issue, and I fully support this, but nonetheless, it is a way that Iron Man don't stand alone, and that is the fact that other players can use bonds on them. I think that's completely irrelevant though, because it doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever, and the Iron Man can't gain an unfair advantage because of that, besides obviously being able to maintain membership, but I thought I would throw that out there anyways just because. So while the majority of the time Iron Man have to do most things on their own, there are certain things and ways that they can use other players to their advantage or disadvantage depending on the situation. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know whatever's on your mind about this topic. So what are some potential solutions to some of these problems? What do you think of using alt accounts as scouts to balance out the fact that Iron Man can get PK'd? What do you think of Bounty Hunter and Emblem Farming as an Iron Man? Or anything else that comes to mind. I really want to hear any thoughts, opinions, and ideas you have on this. But that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope it was able to provide some kind of insight in one way or another. And I really am looking forward to reading your comments and seeing what all of you think about this. But I just want to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow.